You're right. It's great. Yeah. Hey, look there. It's pretty, eh? Yeah. Hey, up ahead there. Look. Come on. Let's have some fun, huh? Come on. Sure, why not? <laughs> Sounds great. <laughs> Right, let's go. <laughs> what do you want? What do we want? <laughs> hey, what are you doing Nothing. here? Nothing. We're doing nothing. Anyway, who are you? Oh, so you're doing nothing, eh? Well, I must say, it didn't look like nothing to me. It looked like immoral behavior. That's how it seemed. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they ought to be ashamed behaving in public like that. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Go on. Leave us. Hey, don't speak to me like that. Huh. But still, I guess you're disappointed. Hey, but he can't be doing you much good. Just a kid. Try my friends out, huh? <laughs> they know the game. <laughs> no, we're going. Hey, 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 hang on, huh? Not so fast, huh? Don't be so nervous. <laughs> Let's all have some fun first, eh? <laughs> somebody? <laughs> hey, don't go yet. We only just got here. That's not very friendly. Well, I'm not your friend. Is that so? In that case, you must be my enemy. Hey, now come on. All we want is a little bit of fun. <laughs> oh, why, you big chew. Well, you asked for it. Right. If that's what you want, Look here. Do you know this man? Uh, uh, no, I don't. Uh, we'll see about that. We're going to the police station. Who, who do you think you are? Who am I? Police.
She took a cab. Get her. Right. Come, Come on. on. Now then, to the police station? Oh, no. The hospital. What's up? Do you have any idea why that gang was chasing the dead girl? Well, how would I know? Oh, I'm sorry. What I meant was, did she mention anything? But why should she? Now, you obviously risked your life to help this young girl, but she was a stranger, so why did you do that? Why not? Why shouldn't I? She was a human being, wasn't she? All right. Sure, sure. So you helped her out of a sense of normal civic responsibility. Right. Aren't you afraid that you might get hurt? Get hurt? Uh. Well, the people involved might try to even up the score now. What's that? Well, that's what the police are for. They can handle anything like that. And if they can't, well, then I will. Maybe. What's that? What do you say? Oh, nothing. All right, all right. Thanks a lot, then. Hey, is that all? Yeah, thanks a lot. Oh, thanks a lot. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. That's good. Not a bad idea, saying you're a reporter. At least we know where to find him now. That's good. 
We've got to find that purse. And I think the cab driver's got it. Well, whoever can get it back for me gets a hundred thousand bucks as a bonus. Hundred thousand? Don't you worry, boss. We'll get it back, all right? Good. See that you do. Listen, what the hell can be in that purse if the boss is willing to pay $100,000 to get it back? Never mind that. It's none of your business. All right. Hey, he's finished. Take us into town, will you? You're the reporter that spoke to me yesterday, huh? Right. Keep going. Now then, keep driving. Don't try anything or you might get hurt. I've no money, honestly. We don't want money, we're after a small purse. What small purse? A girl left it in your cab yesterday. The one who died. No, I didn't see any purse. Don't bother lying. We know you've got it. So don't try and make things difficult for us. I don't have the purse. Honest. You can search the car. Keep going. Number seven, pick up a fare outside the King Ho restaurant here. Yes? Tell us where it is or we'll beat it out of you. I don't know where it is. <laughs> yes, Am I? I'm We're wasting our more. time. Look, I'm telling you, I don't know where it is. Damn you, we haven't got time to play games with you. Come on, where's that purse? But look, I haven't got <laughs> it. Hey, 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 hey. What's wrong? Come here. You listen to this now. Chin Chin's in some sort of trouble. Oh, I don't know where it oh, is. Come on. You're lying. You hand it over <laughs> now or we'll beat the hell out of you. <laughs> How can I hand it over? I hey, sounds like a holdup. We better go help. Uh, not me. You can go. I don't I'm know not. where it is. Will you listen huh? to me? Hey, come on, let's go. Come on. Hey, you keep I'm listening. Find out where they are. Got it. Look. Hey, now listen. You may as well cooperate. It'll be easier if you do. in Chun Wan, so get there quickly. messing around and give us the purse. What purse? I told you. I don't have it.
search him. Nothing. Nothing. Get in there. I wish I got him, though. God. Come on, Nola. Let's get the cops. Now, I want the truth. You understand? Mm. Let's take this purse. You sure you never found it lying in your cab? No. I've never seen it. If we manage to find any of these men, could you identify them? I think so. Let's see. One had a big mole on his face. Good. Well, if we get them, we'll ask you to come in. Eh? Do I have to? Have to? Huh? It's a citizen's duty. You understand that. And you are the complainant. You'll have to come in. Right. Sign this. Can I go now? Not yet. Better go to the hospital for a checkup. Uh, but I've got to get back to work. I haven't made a cent yet today. Hmm. Can't I go now? Right. You understand that it's completely your own responsibility, though. I'm all right. Just a couple of bruises. There's nothing really wrong with me. All right. You can go. Ah, oh, thank you, sir. Right. You're back. Mm. Two coppers were here, plain clothes men. They went up and searched your room. Oh? Come on. What did you do? What do you mean? I've done nothing. Listen, when did the police come here? I just don't know. You better go ask my wife. I wasn't at home. Who's there? Mr. Chen in. Who are you? Can you read? Afraid not. 
We're from the police. Where's Chen's room? It's upstairs. Anything? A big mole? Yes. They're fakers, all of them. Oh, you, horse racing. It's all you ever think about. Chin Chan's been hurt. That's right. You okay? Yeah. Listen, you must be careful. Mind your own business. Don't get mixed up in things. As a cab driver, you can't afford to get involved. So you watch it, or you'll get into trouble. Sure. That's easily said, but it doesn't help me, does it? Chen-Chen! Chen-Chen! Who is it? I don't know. I'll go and see. Chen-Chen! But why? I don't know, but it's getting a bit much. They impersonate cops and search my room, then beat me up. What do they want? Do you know? They're looking for somebody's purse. A purse? There must be something pretty important in it, then. Probably something valuable, or else they wouldn't take all these risks. Well, they're bound to try again, then. So watch it. Ah, don't worry. Listen, I can move in with you. It'll be for a couple of days only. Then if they come, They'll get a real shock. Won't know what's hit them. Huh? They won't be back again. But you've got a shift tonight. Huh, that's no problem. Somebody else can do that. We have to stick together in these matters. Hey, Noodles! Good, that's fixed. Right. Don't you worry. Huh? With me along now, there'll be no problems. We'll sort that lot out. Does it hurt? Not much. Chen Chen, there's a lady to see you. Lady? Ah, hey, since when have you had girlfriends? Mr. Chin, sorry to bother you, but could you tell me about it? When we arrived, she was already dead. Please tell me what all this crying's about, then. 
What is all this? Chin Chin, you should be more careful. Oh, it's quite all right. Oh, is it? I bet that's what you told this poor girl. Now she's pregnant. It's no wonder that you got beaten oh, up. Oh, no, look, I... Oh, dear, all the young people are the same. Even the nice ones. All this business with premarital sex. How far are you gone? Oh, look, I... Well, I do hope you're not thinking about an abortion. Look, what is all this? Are you crazy? I hear that so brazen. It's all right, Mrs. Ming. Uh, you got it wrong. I'll explain. This young lady, she's the sister of that young girl who died in Chen Chen's taxi. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> all right, that's all. Now you can go back to work. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, all right, then, I'll go. Yes, come on now. Miss Ho. The gang of men who were chasing after your sister, who were they? I don't know. Oh, tell me, did you notice if my sister was carrying a purse with her? Now listen, we want that purse. Eh? Everyone's looking for that purse. But why is it so important, do you know? Uh, when my sister actually died, in your car, did you, did she have the purse in her hand then? <laughs> Why, no. And after? Didn't see it. Oh, thank you. Who told you about the purse? Oh, you see, before she died, she called me on the phone, and, and she told me she had something, something very important, asked me to keep it. Oh, that would explain it. Mr. Chin, thank you. I must go now. Oh, that's okay. Oh, but leave me your number so I can call you if I find the purse. My number? Oh, 814-980. Hi there. Hi. How's Hi. things? God damn it, it's going too far. When hoodlums can attack you in broad daylight. That's quite natural. Look around. It's an overcrowded city. It's tough to make a buck here. It's a robbery, same as any big city. The rich get rich and the poor get poorer. Everybody's exploiting somebody most of the time. So it's natural that someone that want to do it the direct way. There's plenty of incentive. If you've got money, everything here's for sale. Right. Look there. All those books. You see, they're one of many contributing factors to crime. I mean, they're either full of sex or violence, and either way, they corrupt the young. Well, if that's the case, why don't they ban the book? Ah, they can't do that. So shut up. Listen to him. Hmm. Uh, yeah, you're right. Go on. And there's another factor. All these films we get about violence. The kids are very impressionable. I mean, they see all these films and they want to imitate their heroes. What heroes, though? All they see is robbers, rapists, muggers, and murderers. For God's sake, they're supposed to be heroes? <laughs> yeah, I know that. So do you. But the kids don't. Not their fault. It's all the producers, writers, and all the directors. They present all these criminal types of semi-heroes. And the kids just don't discriminate, because it looks very glamorous. They've got a lot to answer for, I tell you. All these books and movies. If I was the government, I'd just ban the whole lot. The whole damn lot. The books, the films. Then I'd improve the social services and give the crooks a chance. But those who didn't accept the chance, the real diehard types, the professional crooks, I'd get them, I'd take them out and shoot them. Yeah, that's great. Just one snag. You're not the government. Yeah. Just a driver. What's that? What do you mean? What are you then? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't look much like a driver now. You look more like an angry gorilla. Huh? That's so? Huh. I don't like being insulted. I'm not ashamed of being a driver, so he can watch his tongue. Hey, all right. He never meant it as an insult. Nothing wrong with a driver. We do our job, obey the law. We're good citizens. Sure. Now look, you take Chen. 
He's a graduate from university. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yet he's a driver. Oh, come on. Hey, the cars are in. We better stop work. Hey, let's go. Hmm. Most kind, uh, very kind. Hmm. Doesn't pay, though. <sighs> Look at that. 500 bucks worth of damage. <laughs> You've been beaten up and robbed, too. Now then, who pays for this? I do, of course. How am I supposed to make a profit, eh? Well... Tell Chen Chen to hand over that uh, purse. What's that? What purse, eh? He knows. Just tell him, or there's going to be big trouble. Hey, hey, now wait. Listen, I took you on to work for me, not to make trouble. Come on, I've done nothing. Well, maybe not. But why don't you give him that damn purse back? But I told you I've never set eyes on that purse. Now, boss, I know all this is costing you money, but you can't blame Chen, though. <laughs> And imagine how I'm feeling about this, caught in the middle of it all. Right. We've got to help Chen in this. Yeah? Thanks a lot. Thanks very much. All right. Let's do something, though. Like tell the police. Now go on. Just carry on. It's always your cab. Why is that, eh? I'm beginning to believe that you quite enjoy getting into trouble. That you like it, in fact. Why, no. But ever since that young woman died in my cab, this gang's been making trouble for me. Well, there's not a damn thing I can do for you. You don't know them, so how can I arrest them? I told you, one of them has this mole on his face. So what? Lots of men have got moles. Where does that get us? Uh... All right, off you go now. Wait now. I'll give you my number. If they bother you again, give me a call. Thank you. Your move. Check. Huh? Uncle Chen? A visitor. Yes. You, Mr. Chen Chen? Yes. I'm Ho Mei Wa. Uh huh. The young girl who died in your cab. She was my sister. No, wait. How many sisters are there? Just me. Hey, all right. Just ignore her. We've been through this before. Oh. I bet the next thing she asks is about the purse. 
What purse? What is all this? Now, come on. You're an imposter. I know. The only thing you want is the purse. You don't know anything. In fact, I think you're mad. Huh? That's so? We'll soon see. You're going to the police station. Come on. Right. Ah! Who knows? I could be anyone. I'll say that. <laughs> I'm sorry. He's impulsive. Always has been. In fact, we always call him the bull. That's all right. After all, I mean, who knows? I could be anyone. But I must admit, I was a bit taken back. I hadn't realized I looked that bad. <laughs> oh, you see, there was another girl came here claiming to be Ho Mei Wan. You see? This is the telephone number she gave me. Yes, Axis Films here. I see. In that case, can I speak to Miss Ho Mei Wa? Hello? Uh, Hello? Who? Ho Mei Wa? Uh, what number? For 980. Number's right, but there must be some mistake. We've no Miss Ho here. Oh, is that right? Sorry. Number. Sorry. Always a wrong number. Huh? So the first girl who came was a fake. Mm. God! Well, she was a terrific actress, all right. Crying her eyes out. She really had us fooled. Oh. Hey, you said that this was your sister. Your real sister. Mm. Guess so. Was she a cop? Afraid not. Our parents died when we were young. So then, we were pretty poor. We had to go to work at quite an early age. Well, my sister didn't like work much, liked an easy life. So then, she gravitated into rather bad company. I didn't like it. And we agreed one day to go our different ways. And that was that. and I hadn't seen her since then. Then I heard that she'd been found dead. That's why I came, so I could hear just how it happened. Oh, I see. Well, I'll try and help you trace this gang. Thank you. Leave me your number. If I hear anything, then I'll call you. Right. Thanks very much. If we both work together, with some luck, we might just get this bunch of hoodlums. Mm. By the way, you know where your sister's buried? Thank you. 
Fong. Mei Fong. I'll make them pay now. Call this number, 800-331, and ask for Inspector Fung. to you, Mo. Tell the man. Right. Inspector. Are you here? In the house. Surround it. All right, you in the house. This is the police. We've got the police surrounded. Give They're me that. coming out quietly. Don't try anything. You can't get away now. Come on out with your hands up. The house is surrounded. got just one minute to come on out, otherwise we'll come in there after you. Right! Come on! All right, All right. Hey. through that. Okay. Yeah. There's nothing, not a soul in there. Hmm. You brought us on a wild goose chase. Uh, but I actually saw them go in there. You suffer from eye trouble. Why, no. Well, in that case, you better go get your head looked at. Let's go. Right. OK, come on. Come on. That's right. So then I thought that I'd contact you. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'll go tell the boss. You tie them up. Right. Right. Right, let's go clean up. Well then, we found their hideout. Perhaps we'll find out who's behind this. Don't worry, the stuff is first rate. Hmm. Oh, yeah. 90 cans. Good, take it all. The balance on delivery. Usual place, Mount Phoenix. off then. Show him out now. Take this to my room, clean up. Right. Hey, boss. Chen Chen came here with a girl. We've got both of them tied up outside. Bring me the girl first. Right. Free. Mm. All right, let's see. Hey. Mm. Uh. <laughs> Bring the girl up. Come on. That's no way to treat a lady. <laughs> Go on. Now, please, have a seat. There, now. And what's your name? Miss Ho. Ah. I'm Mei Fong's sister. Huh? <sighs> I'm so sorry. It was a very sad case. Come on. I don't need your hypocrisy. <laughs> That's not a very nice thing to say. You're not a nice person. I mean, if that's what you were, why all the bodyguards and the secret tunnel and hidden doors? 
Nice people don't have those. But a big-time crook probably needs them. <laughs> You're making a mistake. It's because of the crime wave. The tunnel is for security, for no other reason. And those young fellows are just out of work. I hired them to help them out. That's your story. But now then, tell me how my sister died. You don't know how she died, is that right? Hmm. I'm afraid your sister was greedy. She stole the first prize lottery ticket from me the other week. So then, I've simply been trying to get the thing back ever since she died in that cab. And my guess is, Chen Chen discovered that he had the ticket and then he murdered her. I mean, it's a likely explanation. And there were no witnesses to say how she died. I think he did it. But still, you've been looking for a purse and not the ticket. That's right. Somebody happened to see her when she was actually putting the ticket in her purse. But after she died in the cab, the purse was gone. Chen Chen must have taken it. There's no other explanation. Yes, it seems that way. Hey, but why didn't you tell the police? <laughs> that might have scared him into running away. Hey! Stop it! <laughs> no, what? I think that the two of you are in this thing together. That you both killed her. You... You're crazy. Ah, a policewoman, huh? Right. Let me go. Let you go? Sure. As soon as you let me have the purse, then I will. Now, come on. What is all this? You know I don't have it. All right, now. You let me go, or I'll charge you with obstructing the law. <laughs> <laughs> and you're the law. Don't make me laugh. You women police, the only thing you can do is hand out parking tickets. <laughs> <laughs> I warn you. You better let me have that damn purse now. If you don't, you're gonna get hurt. Huh. You daren't. Well, we'll see. Lock her up now. Right. right. Gone. Ah. Gone. Ah, Chang. Yeah. What is it? Bring Xiaomei to my study. Hmm. Surely. Come and get it. Enough. First, she must do something for me. Tell me what it is. Ho Mei Feng's sister, Ho Mei Wa, we caught her snooping around here. I've got her locked up. You go and talk to her. See if she knows where that purse is. <gasps> when you've done that, come back and I'll give you some more. I'll do it. I will. Yes? Are you Mei Feng's sister? Yes. I'm Sa Mei.
Your sister was a good friend. You... You all right? On the day that your sister died, she had a purse. Do, do you know where it is now? I don't know. Uh, 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 uh. If you know, please say, tell me. Oh, please, for both of our sakes. Our sakes? What do you mean? I beg of you. Oh, help me. Please tell me. What is this? Come on now. I may be able to help you. Nobody can help me. Nothing anyone can do. Things have gone too far now. by the people here? Was she? Who murdered her? You must tell me. Tell me. No, I can't. What's the use? Because they mustn't get away with it. Tell me. Come on now. If you've evidence, I can help you. Tell me. Come on, speak up. <laughs> what can you do? You can help me? Just look at you. You're only a prisoner. Go on. Go on. <laughs> Idiot. You were supposed to question her. And what happens, though? You start to blab, giving her information. Remember, I'm a rich man, and I have a great many friends all over. If you did try to spit on me, who's going to believe you? <laughs> Besides, you can't break away from me. Where would you get your stuff from? You wouldn't last one day. Now go on. And you do what I said. I did ask her. Says she doesn't know. Doesn't know? Hey. Yeah. Lock her up with that girl again. Right. <laughs> Give you something. Hey, boss. Hmm. Listen, don't forget, that shipment has got to go out today. Yeah. When it has, get the cash, then pay the men off, tell them to lay low for a few days. Oh. <laughs> I have to go out for a while. I'll see you later. I shouldn't be too long. Right. Listen, what about the cab driver and the two girls, huh? Easy. Put them in boxes and we'll take them out. Hmm. Okay, but you use the tunnel. Don't forget. Go on. Right. 
Hey, back up. Right. Now tell me, are you a cop? Mm. Look, you tell me all you know. Right. I'll tell you then. Hu Chiang, he always recruits young people to smuggle drugs for him. Most of the time, it's girls, pretty ones. Oh, this is Homei Fung. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Hey, boss. Uh, I think she could be useful, huh? Yeah, take this to the usual place. You know. Yeah. All right. Hey, come on. She realized how stupid she'd been, but she was trapped. Once you're in, they'll never let you go. She tried to get out many times, but every time he managed to drag her back again. So then, she thought that she'd try and get something on them. Please. <laughs> One day, Hu Tang decided that he was going to get rid of the boss. Mei Fong managed to take some pictures. She reckoned there'd be evidence against them. Unfortunately, they were on to her. Goodbye. 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 Okay, it's all fixed. Let's get going. Right. Right. Hey, boss. She took my picture when I was rigging up the bomb in the car. She stuck it in a purse, huh? Pull it down. Mm. Keep quiet. <laughs> right. Now tell me where that purse is. No, I won't. Now come on. Don't try my patience. Now you listen. This is your own fault. You just drunk a poison. In three hours, you'll be dead. Oh. But you tell me where to find the purse, and then I'll let you have an antidote. No, I won't. Right. Take her. Come on. Right. Uh, uh, Come on. Uh, uh, Get in there. Uh, Let's check out the stuff. Right. Oh, excuse me. I have to go to the washroom. Mei Fong, the closet, a secret door. Get straight out to a hospital. Thank you. Oh, I see. That's why they wanted to kill her. They just had to get those pictures or spend the rest of their lives in jail.
Thanks a lot. I'm grateful you told me. I'm as bad as them. I'm weak. Greedy. And now I'm trapped too. I left home. Left my parents. I thought that I was being smart. And now I'm an addict. A zombie. They control me. I have to do what they say. I'll do anything for this stuff. They know I helped me phone, and so they won't give me any more. It's awful. Killing me. I'm going mad. I can't stand much more. But still, guess it doesn't really matter. Not now. Finished. Washed up. And nothing to live for anyway. Now come on. Lie down. Get some rest. And don't give up. I'll help you. Hey. <laughs> Start working. On what? Loading, and find me two wooden cases. What for? All right, yeah. Hurry. Right. something, boss? Take this money. Buy three wooden crates and tell old Chu to get the truck ready now. Wooden crates? There's plenty here. We need big ones. This is too much. So you've got yourself involved again, eh? Now you want the drivers to help you out. Now, boss, don't get mad. Listen to me. You've lost me enough money already now. Listen, unless you help me now, and quickly, and get rid of this bunch of hoodlums, to give an example to other citizens, you won't lose money. You'll have no company left. Why, why, you all you right? Fool. Let's go. Well, come on. What's this? You mean you're going? Yeah, those lousy rats. I've had enough of them. This time we'll fix them. Come on. Hey! Wang Ming, you really getting involved in this? That's right. Because we don't have any option. Way things are now, I reckon we've got to make a stand. Right? Hey, hey, hey. Oh, wait. Don't go. You've all gone raving mad. Hello? You there? On the way. When this happened? Huh? I 
like to know. Yeah. The stuff loaded? Right. Mount Phoenix, four sharp.
probably changed your mind about that. Take him. All right, right come, come on. on. Come on. Come on. Now then, you've done well. But it was Chen Chin and the girl here. Oh. Listen, Thank you all right? Car's a wreck. Listen, the police are very grateful to you. Hmm. <laughs> I know. They've already expressed their gratitude. Thank <laughs> you. 